Welcome to this short training video on how to create and fulfill sales orders in MedSuite. This video is presented to you by Business Solution Partners. Today I'll show you how to access the sales order entry form, how to select products or service items for the sales order. I'll show you how to run the item fulfillment list, how to access the fulfillment orders entry form. We'll go over how to fulfill sales orders and how to find item fulfillment records linked to sales orders. To create a sales order, I'll go to Customers, Sales, and click on Set a Enter Sales Order. And this will take you to the sales order entry form. The sales order number has been pre-filled, and I'll now enter my customer name. The order date has been set to today's date and fields like location, customer PO number, project, opportunity, lead source, department and class are all optional in my case. Some of these might be required for your company so if they are you will have to fill those in but I'm going to leave those blank. The deferred revenue reclassification account I will select it here just because I'm not sure if the item I'm going to be using is set for revenue rec uh, deferral. So it's always safe to select a deferred revenue account, although you may not need it. You won't do anything unless there is deferral of revenue associated with the item. The next thing I'm going to do is select the item I want to sell. And before I do that, let me remind you that subsidiary and currency are associated with the customer. I don't have multiple currencies for this customer because we don't have the multi-currency feature activated for our customer. So there is only one currency here. And for my item, I'm going to select the item I want to sell. If you know the item name, you can start typing it here and it will come up. But I want to show you that if you go to list, you can also find them this way. You can do a search here, but the good thing about opening the window is that it tells you how many items you have left for a particular product or how many units. So if you scroll down, for example, you can see that for this large jacket size L and XL, I don't have any items left in inventory. So let's find one that has some items in inventory. This is the parent item. So if you look under, you have items with the sizes. So if I were to click here, although it says that I have 507, this really won't work. I have to select one of the children of this item. So let's scroll down and find something. Okay, here, let me select this size XL. And now you can see my item was pre-filled with some information. I have the quantity set at one, let me change that at five, and then I have the unit price at 149.95 with the total amount calculated by the system, and then my tax code is set to not taxable. This information, the, the price and the tax code, are linked to the item, and items are created before you get to this point, typically. I have a video on how to create items which are needed for sales order and for invoicing customers. So you can refer to that video to learn more about how to create items in NetSuite. And now my sales order is ready to be saved. I just want to click add so you can see here the summary of the sale. I will save this now. And the sales order is created. And now you can see that you have a sales order number here and it's telling you that this order is pending fulfillment. You can fulfill this order at this point, but I want to show you how to access sales orders that are pending fulfillment. So if this is not the only one you have, you can go to fulfill orders from many different places in NetSuite. But let me show you if you're on the home page and you want to access all the sales orders that are pending fulfillment, you can go to customers, sales, 
fulfill orders. And here you can see that you have the options to click on list, search, status. Let me show you what list looks like. So this is items fulfillment. This is everything that you have created regardless of status. So you can see that you have status of shipped. And if we scroll down, or maybe if I sort, the system is just taking a little longer. OK, if you see now, you have packed. And there are other statuses that are in this report. And you can export this report to Excel and use it in any way you find it fit. But now let me show you how you can go to fulfill orders, customers, sales, and fulfill orders. So if you click right there, this will take you to the sheet where you can change statuses for different orders based on what you want to do with them. So I want to fulfill the order that I just created today. And if I sort by date, I can see that the latest one I have is from 2016. So there is some filter that I have here that's preventing my order from showing in my screen. So let's look for it. So this is set to status of shift. This is not going to make, this is what I want to do once I fulfill my order. So I want to say that it was either packed, picked, packed, or shipped. But I think my filter over here, filter by some items committed, might be what's preventing my order from showing up. So I'm going to say ignore item availability. See, that will give me everything. And now I can see my order here, the 18606. So if you click here, you can submit, and I'll mark the order as fulfill. But you can also click on fulfill over here, and it's going to open the item fulfillment form. You can make some changes here. You can change the posting date. You can, oh, the date of the fulfillment. You can also change the quantity here. And you can also set the location and the shipping status. You can change it to picked or packed. I want to mark mine as shipped today. And I'm ready to save my order or my item fulfillment. And it's telling me that I need to provide a value for the following field, which is location. So I'll say OK. And let me show you right here. Location didn't have any markings that it was a required field. But the warning came up. So I will set a location. And then I'm going to save again. And now my order has been fulfilled. You have a full item fulfillment number. And now this item fulfillment number is going to be linked to the sales order that I created before. So let me show you how that works. If I type my sales order, which was 18606 in the search field, and I click on sales order, it's going to bring up the one I just created. And if you go to related transactions, you can see the item fulfillment over here with the number 22303. The next thing for this sales order is to bill it. And you can bill it from the sales order or from the item fulfillment. So you see how it says bill here. But if we go and find this item fulfillment 22303, We click on that, and you should have the option to bill from this point as well. We will have a separate video on how to bill customers from sales orders. So look out for that one to learn more about billing sales orders in NetSuite. We hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions about any of the features described in the video, or need training or support with NetSuite modules or transactions, please contact Business Solution Partners at the email or phone number on the screen. Business Solution Partners is a NetSuite partner 
and a management and consulting firm specializing in cloud-based system implementations. Their staff members and management team include CPAs and certified solution developers with over 25 years of experience in accounting and system implementation. Visit us at bspny.com or follow us on Twitter and other social media.